one of the trainings that's happening today. We have other trainings happening as well, um, like how to support our immigrant and refugee communities that um, are coming to Nebraska. You may not know this, I didn't know it until about a month ago that Nebraska has and welcomes the most refugees and immigrants on a per capita basis. That's one, because we have both small and big towns in order to make sure that folks can get acclimated. We also have a strong network of churches um, that really welcome and um, essentially adopt different refugee families. So they have a Nebraska family as the refugee families making Nebraska their home, helping them through each step of the way. We have Lucas Nelson playing in the background as music, in case you guys don't know, Willie Nelson's son. Look him up, Promise of the Real, one of the best bands out there. And um, we have these welcome baskets that we've been making. So I'm just gonna kind of show you all the work that Democrats have done over the last about month and a half. So when President Trump, um, who I like to fire in chief, when he put in his racist travel ban, um, we put out a call to action to Democrats across the state saying help us create welcome baskets for refugee and immigrant families who are making Nebraska their home. And the response has been incredibly overwhelming and just really heartwarming that so many Nebraskans across our state sent in these baskets with just the basic stuff that you need when you are starting a new home whether it's diapers and toilet paper and towels, um, but there's also dishes and blankets and rice cookers, um, utensils. And so we've been doing this for the last about month and a half. And this isn't even all of the baskets, if you can believe that. We um, have a tremendous amount of baskets inside the office as well. Um, but this is just what Democrats do, right? We not only keep elected officials accountable and we run for office ourselves, but we also make sure that we're c connecting to our community on the issues that deeply affect all of us. And we made sure that we had individuals write a little note to the families. And then inside each basket, there's also a letter from the Nebraska Democratic Party welcoming the family to Nebraska. Um, it's signed by me as chair of the party, and then we include a sticker in there for them to put on their car, um, and also includes a voter registration form, and just has our contact information in case they want to reach out and have any questions. There's a big misconception that, um, you know, immigrants come to our country as unskilled, and the reality is there are some deep political leaders that are making Nebraska their home. Um, we have individuals that led political parties um, that had to flee um, their countries because of violence. And that's their way of protecting their family is, is coming to America to make it their home. And so we really wanna make sure that folks are embraced by the Nebraska Democratic Party. Um, I think back in the day, this used to happen when folks came to Ellis Island, uh, the Democratic Party was there with welcome baskets and with food and with voter registration forms. And so we are doing that same thing. So last